Hey everybody, Cruise Man here. Welcome to 2023. This is my first video of 2023. And I want to wish all of you a wonderful new year. I hope it's been good so far. Uh, this is not a crown and comments, but it is happy hour here at Cruise Man's Garage. So I do have my uh, my evening cocktail, as you might say, Crown Royal. So this is not a video about uh, your comments, so that's why it's not a crown and comments. So what the purpose of this video is, is just kind of look back on 2022, and I really should have done this at the end of last year as kind of a year-end wrap-up, but I wanted to wait for the year to end and then maybe take a couple of days to reflect on what happened last year. And I've just made some notes. I went through and pulled some statistics off of YouTube. And I also want to let you know, you probably noticed the change already in my studio. Uh, you'll notice my tool chest back behind me. You'll notice a shelf over here with some doodads on it. And I have got one more little piece of decoration, you might say, a little accent piece coming that will sit kind of up there where that box is right now. And it's kind of cool. I'm excited about that. But anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of the new studio design. I've also updated some things in the studio. I've added another light up here that kind of shines down on my hat. Some people were saying, or it actually it was Dawn, mentioned that my hat used to kind of blend in with the background. It was kind of hard to distinguish. So I did get a little light up here above me uh, to kind of shine on the hat. And then I've got a couple of other lights over here. I also have a new microphone. I don't know if this is going to be any better or not, but I did buy a new Rode microphone. And something I'm testing out on this video today is I've got a second camera angle over here. I bought one of these little Insta360 gimbal, um, I don't know what you call the thing, little mini camera thing. And uh, I'm going to try it out as a second angle. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you like having that second angle, or is it just a waste of time? I don't know. It takes more editing, that's for sure. Okay, let's look back on 2022. Now, a lot of you have already commented um, that, you know, I had my goal of 50,000 subscribers for last year, and I just barely missed it. I don't know what happened in the month of December, but subscriptions fell in half. I've been averaging about 1,000 new subscribers, maybe 11, 1,200 new subscribers every month for the last year. And for some reason in December, that dropped way down to, uh, to around 500 and something. So anyway, uh, basically just barely missed that 50,000. Okay, I think in the next few days, we're going to get there, and I would use that as an excuse right now to invite you. If you haven't done so already, please take a second, click that little subscribe button down below. Don't forget the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know we come out with new videos. So let's take a look at some of the stats for last year. Well, first of all, I did 39 motovlogs. Most of them, as you are probably aware, were riding from Einstein's back home after having coffee or breakfast with Don, maybe on Sunday, talking about a variety of, a variety of topics. It still uh, is, is an important part of the content of this channel, and I've got some ideas for 2023 that I think you're going to like, so stay tuned and don't miss any of those motive logs, because a lot of times we talk about some pretty interesting stuff. Last year, 2.7 million views on the channel, and we did have 12,000 new subscribers in 2022, so that's still pretty good. Here's the thing, 71% of our views, I just looked it up today, from people who are not subscribed to the channel. So there's a lot of people out there watching Cruise Man's Garage content. Maybe they just view one video and they never come back. I don't know. Last year was the first year I decided to diversify out and do some different motorcycle reviews besides just Goldwing. And in July, I did a review of the BMW K1600 GTL. 
Many of you probably remember that. And then a little later in the year, a couple months later, I did the Indian Pursuit. Right now, I'm in the process of reviewing the Triumph Rocket 3R. Very interesting motorcycle. I think you're going to really kind of like that review. And these... Uh, reviews were actually very popular. I didn't know how people were going to respond to these initially, but the response has actually been very good. It's brought a lot of new people to the channel and a lot of views to the videos. In fact, let's take a look at my top videos for 2023 as far as viewership. My number one video last year was the BMW K1600 versus the Honda Goldwing. It was the comparison, the head-to-head -head comparison. 268,000 views. Now, for a channel of my size, that's really pretty incredible. The K1600 review by itself was the number two viewed video at 75,843 views. Now, I'm sure a lot of Goldwing owners watch that as well as BMW fans out there. Um, my third most popular video was one that I've had out for a long time. I redid it a little bit last year, and that was my video on how to buy or tips on buying a used Goldwing. That video got 68,000 views. Pretty amazing. The number four video, 20 Things You Need to Know About the Honda Goldwing. That was my number four video with 65,000 views. And then my Indian Pursuit comparison to the Goldwing was the number five video with 58,991 views. I actually did 28 different product reviews in 2022. Now let's move on to crown and comments. My crown, I had nine crown and comments videos. I always want to do one a month, but I didn't last month, uh, last year. And I'm going to try to rectify that because crown and comments are still pretty popular. I don't know why, but some of you out there really do like the crown and comments. Maybe you like the crown more than the comments. I got 63,000 views or thereabouts, you know, in that in that range for all of those crown and comment videos. They're not huge popular videos. They're not, you know, the, the, each one doesn't get 50,000 views like I'd like, but they still are fun to do and I enjoy them and, and that's why I'm going to do them. Now, it was not all about YouTube. Last year, remember I have two Facebook groups, one for Goldwing Maintenance, which is for any year model Goldwing. And then I have another group for the 2018 Plus, or the sixth generation Honda Goldwing, 2018 to 2023 right now. And those grew quite a bit last year. There's, I have 6,900 members on the Goldwing Maintenance Group, and I have about 3,000 on the 2018 Plus Goldwing Group. So almost 10,000 members or followers on Facebook for those two groups. So they're doing pretty well. And, and what those groups are for, if... If you want to communicate, if you're having a problem or you have a question or you just like helping other riders, uh, this is a place, a community where you can come together and ask each other questions. I get a lot of emails. I get a lot of comments on my YouTube videos asking me specific maintenance questions. And uh, believe it or not, I don't know everything. But there's a wealth of information out there on Facebook from these other riders and these other owners who have maybe experienced a problem that you're experiencing. And they're more than willing to share their information, their time, and their assistance. So if you're not on Facebook, uh, I understand maybe you, for some reason you're opposed to it. I certainly get that. But if you are on Facebook, those two groups are a valuable resource. Now, of course, I'm going to put links in the description of this video to all the videos and the Facebook groups I'm, I'm talking about right now. And Facebook is, they own Instagram, as you probably know, or Meta or whatever the hell it is this week. And Instagram, I haven't done very well on Instagram. I only have 812 followers on Instagram. And maybe Maybe there's not that many of you out there using Instagram. I do post a lot of stuff on Instagram, not not as much as I do on YouTube, obviously, but I am going to be posting more on Instagram. And these are going to be little bite-sized pieces of information that don't really warrant a full video like this. I plan to do more of that in 2023, and the reason I do is because a lot of people 
uh, interact with the community, you might say, or with creators through their phone. All they use is their phone. A lot of people don't even use a laptop or a computer like I do. I've got my Mac over here, by the way. They use their cell phone or their smartphone, and they will flip through and watch these very short vertical videos. And I'm my hope is, and what other creators are claiming, is that these shorter videos can lead to uh, people coming over to see your YouTube channel or your other content, the, the full-length version. So there might be people that discover Cruise Man's Garage through one of these short videos uh, that otherwise would not, because the shorts, uh, when you're on YouTube on your phone, you see those shorts. You don't see them on a computer unless you specifically go looking for them. But on the phone, you do. They just kind of pop up as you're scrolling or, or swiping through videos. So anyway, I'd like to know your thoughts on that. Do you watch these short videos? Do you watch videos on Reels? On Instagram, they call them Reels. On YouTube, they call them Shorts. And these are videos that are 60 seconds or less. I've got some little 60-second wingtip videos I'm planning on converting over to these uh, short vertical frame videos. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I really would appreciate it. Now, the last thing I'm going to say is I really, really do appreciate all of the support all of you have given me over the last year. It's been amazing. My Goldwing maintenance videos did much better than I was expecting. Uh, it was a little bit down from 2021, and I'm, I am anticipating, I'm talking about my sales, I'm anticipating that is because Honda's not shipping many new motorcycles. Most of my maintenance video sales come from those of you who've just bought a new Goldwing, or you've bought your first Goldwing, not necessarily new, but new to you. Honda's uh, sales go down, my sales go down too. However, I can't really complain. Our maintenance video sales did very well. We went from, I believe, 31 countries where people were using my videos, and now we're up to like 35 different countries around the world where people use my Goldwing maintenance video series. If you don't have them already and you have a 2001 to 2023 Goldwing, you know, check them out. I'll put a link in the description down below because they're going to save you some money if you use those videos. So anyway, thanks for joining me today. I'm not going to ramble on any longer. Watch for my next crowning comments. Also, make sure to keep an eye out for that Triumph review coming soon. Uh, I haven't had much good weather. I picked up the bike. It was 40 degrees when I picked it up and rode it home. It's been snowing and rainy and cold. I had one good day where I was able to get out and ride it a little bit, get a little video and some photos and get it washed. Um, today it was raining again. I'm going to be out of town for a few days to go visit my brother in West Texas. I will be flying. I will not be driving. If you remember, maybe you heard me talk about the Southwest Airlines situation. So anyway, um, I'm very excited about the next year. Thanks again for joining me. Thanks again for supporting the channel. And I will see you in 2023. And don't forget what I always say. I don't care what you ride. It really doesn't matter. Ride often, but ride safe.